गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू चैप्टर नंबर थ्री आवर चेंजिंग अर्थ फ्रॉम जोग्राफी सो माई डे स्टूडेंट्स एज आई टोल्ड यू इन माई लास्ट क्लासेस दैट आवर अर्थ इज कंटिन्यूसली चेंजिंग बिकॉज ऑफ ड्यू टू द मूवमेंट ऑफ लिथोस्फेरिक प्लेट एवरी ईयर जस्ट फ्यू मिलीमीटर and this movement of lithospheric plate is responsible for the formation of some forces which are endogenic force and exogenic forces okay and students these lithospheric plates is the earth crust and consists of several large and some small irregular uneven shaped plates okay so due to the movement of these lithospheric plate when two types of forces generated inside the earth and outside the earth so the forces which act in the interior or the inside of the earth are called as endogenic forces and those forces which is work or activated on the surface of the earth is known as exogenic forces students these two forces are responsible for the sudden movement and formation of earthquake activity and volcano activity so students as you know very well that these two movement of the earth in which sometime volcanic activity and earthquake activity generated this is very harmful for the survival of human life now i am going to discuss with you another topic which is major landforms of the earth which is responsible for the formation on the surface of the earth due to the movement of the lithospheric plate but students these two forces is also creating some small and some large type of landforms on the surface of the earth in which today i will discuss about the waterfall and work of river etc so students as i told you our landform is continuously changing and these changing of the landforms on the surface of the earth is due to the weathering and erosion so first of all we have to understand that what is the definition of weathering and what is the definition of erosion okay so students weathering weathering is the breaking up of all types of small and big rocks which is present on the earth surface it means weathering is a process of breaking of rocks okay and what is erosion so erosion is a kind of activity in which something is wearing away or taken by on the landscape how how these things moving away or taken by something from one place to another place so students erosion is the wearing away of the landscape by different agents or in another language we can say erosion is the process in which things are taken by the movement of water the movement of wind or air and 
due to the movement of iceberg or big part of ice from one area to another area okay so students when these things are taken or carried by the movement of uh, water wind and ice then all these eroded material whatever taken by water wind and ice is carried or transported then it is somewhere deposited by you also okay it means all the materials whatever taken by the agent of uh, transportation which are water wind then all these materials deposited by somewhere okay so students this process of erosion and deposition is responsible for the creation of different type of lands form on the surface of the earth it means in simple language we can say that when things are weathered or rocks are breaking up this is also responsible for the formation of different types of land forms and when these breaking of rocks or small particles taken by the river air then it is also deposited by these agent of transportation somewhere so this deposition is also responsible for the formation of different types of land forms okay so after that your next topic is work of river so students everyone very well known about the river and its movement but we have to learn and understand when river is moving from one area to another area and it is busy for the erosion of the lower beds on the area from where river is flowing so students these river movement is also responsible for the formation of different types of landforms what are they 